Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Lyndon Arthur is the new IBO light heavyweight champion. He knocked out Brian Suarez uh, in 10 rounds, only five seconds left of that 10th round. It was uh, a right hand to the body and then the killer left hook to the body. Delayed reaction. Uh, Suarez went down and was in clearly in agony. He was desperately trying to get up, but his legs just wouldn't work. He was There was no quitting him. He just, you know, he, he just couldn't get up. Uh, it's as simple as that. But that knockout doesn't really tell the whole story because um, Suarez was definitely ahead in this fight at, at the time of being knocked out. Um, and, you know, it was just... I, I, Lyndon Arthur, I mean, I, I, he's got the attributes, he's got the skills, he's got the size, big, light, heavy, nice and tall, nice long levers. But he just... Um, he, he makes it hard for himself. He kind of flatters to deceive. Like the first three rounds I gave him, gave him every one of those rounds on the jab. He was jab, jab, jab in a way. Um, Suarez, big KO record. I think all but one of his wins was by knockout. But he just, um, Arthur was kind of allowing him to sort of stay in the fight because he wasn't hanging anything off the jab. Lyndon, Lyndon Arthur, orthodox fighter, came out hanging his hand low, but jabbing from the sort of waist or the, certainly from the, the pit, the stomach. And he wasn't firing any right hands off it. It was kind of, um, you got the impression he was, he slipped into a sort of bit of a, there's a bit of complacency there. It's like, okay, I'll win this on the jab. Well, Suarez hadn't come to lose. I think he had trouble making weight, but he was, he, he was there to win. And in the fourth round, he, um, he proved that he was there. The first three rounds were competitive. Suarez moving forward, nothing scientific about what he was doing. It was just a sort of, you know, left, right, left, right. Um, but he was finding a home for that right hand. And in the fourth round, he, it was an overhand right, caught Linden, slap bang on the jaw. I think it was actually a one-two and the, both punches landed. So he, th he threw the left, but the real meat was on the right hand that came over, banged um, Linden on the, on the jaw and over goes Linden. And he was shaken. He was he knew where he was, but he got up and he was shaken. Um and he's kind of sort of regrouped for the most part in the fifth round until maybe about 20 seconds left. And then suddenly Suarez found that right hand again and it was landing on Linden. And you got the feeling that had Linden done more work in the first three rounds, Suarez wouldn't wouldn't have he wouldn't have been so brave. He wouldn't have been so determined. You'd, you'd have taken sort of take some sting out of him because don't forget it's a 12 rounder and most of Suarez's fights uh, ended very early. He'd never been 12 rounds. Linden had. So in the fifth round, I mean, I gave him the fifth round as well. So he's got a 10-8 in the fourth, Suarez. He's got a, a he, he won the round in the fifth. Um, and in the, from the sixth onwards, he was he was creating some problems for Lyndon Arthur. He was getting in close, um, outworking him. Lyndon did a lot of work off the ropes, which is really strange. Um, he, Lyndon seems to like to box really conservatively. And even though he's six foot two, sometimes he gives up his height. He was hanging on the ropes and Suarez was like, thank you very much, I'm coming in. Landing some meaty shots. Lyndon was riding a lot of them, but some of them were connecting. And I was giving Suarez rounds. Um, and then I think I think from probably the fourth to to the ninth, I think I might have given Suarez every round except one. I can't remember offhand. I mean, I've only finished watching the fight about ten minutes ago. But but all of this became um, incidental and somewhat irrelevant because in the tenth round, and again another competitive round. Um, and Suarez wasn't really doing anything. He was just moving forward, staying in range. He wasn't letting his hands go. And Lyndon wasn't doing a lot, but he was winning the round. He was at least popping a jab, maybe the odd right hand. When he let, when he hung some punches off the off the jab, he was actually doing all right. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, there was that body punch. In fact, it was like a one-two. I think it was a right-left, but the left was behind the elbow, and had a, it had a, at least a second's delayed reaction. It landed flush. I think it might have been on the floating rib, and. Down goes Suarez and couldn't get up. So Arthur kind of got out of jail with this one. Uh, yeah, he's won the IBO title, but he's he's kind of enigmatic. He's an, in very very much an enigma as a fighter, Lyndon Arthur. And I'm not so sure. I'm not, world level, I don't think so. European level, yeah. I'd like to see him go for the EBU title. Um, but he's too conservative. He's too reticent. He's too um, within himself. He, he kind of... And he doesn't like it. It's not that he lacks grit. He he does have he does have that ability to sort of soak up punishment because he had to against Suarez. But he he kind of makes it difficult for himself by not by not using his attributes, not using his range. And 
But it was there was a it was an intriguing fight, not really not particularly exciting, but it had enough drama to keep you entertained. And um, I don't know where Lyndon moves on from now. He's got the IBO belt. I'd, I'd like to see him go for the EBU one, but he'll probably defend this IBO thing. Uh, this is on Channel Five, free to air telly. Great exposure for Lyndon. Suarez can come again. You know, he got knocked out of one punch to the body, but he was doing okay. He's, he might have a future. But what did you think of this fight? Did you watch it? If so, please leave your comments below. I'll answer them. Um, or we'll have a little chat. And, um, yeah, flat as to deceive, the jury is out on Lyndon Arthur for me. But tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And, of course, hit the like button. Spread the word about Joe Sunner Boxing. If you could subscribe, that helps us out immensely. Thank you very much for your time. Looking forward to reading your comments and uh, bye for now.